welcome back you guys. Tonight we're gonna be working on a 1911 slide. Now this is a little bit different than what we normally do on the channel. We end up doing a lot of the Glocks, the M&Ps, some CZs, that kind of stuff. So this is gonna be a nice change. I know that you guys like the 1911s. I know you guys like the last 1911 I did. I think we're, I don't know, somewhere around 10,000 views on that last video within the last year. So it was one of those things that you guys really enjoyed. Um, and we're gonna do another one today. So I'm really happy that we have the opportunity to work on one of these uh, pistols. We just, I, if, I feel like a lot of the people that own these don't wanna do anything to them. They feel like they're you know something special or, and, and in some cases they may be. But I feel like there's also room for modification and uh, upgrades it, overall for the uh, aesthetics of the slide, you know what I mean? So I think there's an opportunity to really get out, hit the market running, do some stuff that maybe some of the other people aren't doing, uh, and maybe hopefully this video will encourage you guys to have some other stuff done on those 1911s because I just don't happen to have a lot of people reach out to me for the 1911. So guys, let me quickly take you through the process of what we're doing here, and that's gonna better help you understand of exactly what you're watching. So if you've seen some of my other Glock videos, you're gonna see that I did uh, some Raptor cuts on the front of several of them. There was a 26, a 27, a 30. Um, there was multiple that you guys haven't seen, but I made several videos with some Raptor cuts on the front with three Raptor cuts and a hole in the center. We are going to be doing the Raptor cuts on this. Now, the deal behind Raptor cuts is that every person that cuts them, or I should say companies that cut them, do them different. They use a different ball nose, a different step over, a different angle, and they all come out looking a little bit different, okay? They're not all an exact clone of each other. Um, they have to be drawn and they have to be, you know, matched up to exactly what you're doing. I have what I would consider to be perfected that pattern on the Glocks. They look very aggressive. Um, they look really nice. They've got some nice curvature to them. They have some nice uh, cupping effect to them and things like that. The, the spacing is, is very proportional. Um, I will be taking that drawing and moving it over to this slide. So um, I'm really excited about that because I really like the way that it comes out on the Glock. So I'm sure that I'm going to love the way that it's going to come out on this 1911. Uh, one, of the, one of the things we have to take into consideration when doing a 1911 is the barrel, lug, and lockup area right here, so we gotta make sure we don't come too far back, we're gonna hit that, and then on the front, it has a bushing, okay? So there's a bushing that goes in here, obviously you guys can't see that because it's kinda, it's kinda dark, you can kinda see the little ring down in there. So we gotta make sure we stay away from here, we gotta make, stay, make sure we stay away from the back where that goes. So we've got, we've got this zone right in here that we can work on. And, um, and the other thing that we have a chance of doing is hitting the side factory serrations that, that are already existing on the slide. So I did talk that over with the customer, and the customer is like, if we hit them, we hit them, if we don't, we don't. Um, they just wanted to have something done that looked really cool, and obviously they came to me because that's the right place. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this over to the Tormach 770. We're gonna run it, we're gonna sandblast it, we're gonna bring it back before we actually put any color on it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put some color on it, we're gonna bring it back one more time. So uh, guys, let's get over to the Tormach 770, let's run this, and uh, see exactly what we come up with.
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take and run this through the sandblaster. I'm also going to do a little bit of hand work on it. Um, what ends up coming out with these serrations, I should say raptor cuts, is that they're really aggressive and they can be really sharp. So I'll end up doing a real quick sandblast. I'll end up going over them again by hand, making sure that everything is knocked down so we're not going to have any snags or anything like that. Then what we're going to do is I'll bring you guys back over to the table before we add any color to it. We'll take a look and see exactly what we, uh, what we came up with. Guys, I am extremely pleased with the way this came out. Nice four Raptor cuts on each side. Now, on my Glocks, I've only been running three, but since obviously we have more room between where the barrel locks up and the end of the nose of the slide, obviously four was the appropriate number. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice on the inside is we left a good amount of space in here for where the barrel locks up, some nice strength left over there. And then of course, on the front where we have that barrel bushing, let's see if you guys can see there's a lip in here, if I can get you at the right angle. Down inside there, there's a little bit of a lip uh, where where the, it changes, and that's where the barrel bushing goes up in there. And we've we've left a great amount of space between uh, where that front serration is and where that barrel bushing is. So overall, lots of structural support left. I'm very very pleased with it on how it came out. So guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and do the prep work. We're gonna go ahead and get it colored. We're gonna cook it so it has a nice durable hard finish on the outside. We're gonna bring it back and see it as a final product. Guys, this is one beautiful looking slide. We went ahead and did all the prep work, sandblasted it, did our cleaning up with the acetone, everything that needs to be done according to the spec sheet from Cerakote. We ended up coming out with our graphite black H146, just a real beautiful color, getting it back to that factory look. And um, one of the things I wanna add about this build is that having the inside of it curved adds an extra layer of difficulty on achieving the front serrations because it ends up leaving a lot of little tails of metal on the inside. It just comes out being one of those deals where uh, there's extra steps that need to be taken. Things don't want to cut exactly, uh, you know, as easy as they do with a Glock slide. I think the Glock slides are overall a harder substance to cut. They're more aggressive on the cutter. But the difference is, is that with the Glock slide, once you get down through the side, or I should say kind of the top roll, you're just kind of going down. With this, you're always on the roll all the way through because the inside of it's curved. So it's a little of this and a little of that. I'm not 100% sure which one's easier on the machine and or easier on the cutter. Um, they both have their layers and levels of difficulty to achieve the, basically the same process. Um, but since you're working on a different, you know, firearm, they seem to be just a couple different steps you have to take in order to achieve the end result. But in the end, I'm loving it. We're gonna definitely be able to see some nice barrel. Like I said, we got it back to that factory image right across there. Um, it's, just a, it's just a really good looking slide overall. I'm really pleased with the way that it, uh, the way it came out. All right, guys, in 2018, I have some really big plans of some stuff that I wanna achieve with you guys, stuff that we haven't done before on the channel, okay? So if you haven't subscribed, go and subscribe, find us on our other places, go to the webpage, go to the bottom of the webpage, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook are direct links. You can find us at our other locations. But a couple of the big things that we haven't done on the channel before is build a suppressor or build a break for some of the weapons, some of the, you know, the ARs, the AKs, the, the 1022s, and some things like that. So um, what I wanted to bring out to you today is uh, just kind of show you that in the past, I've made several different things, different breaks. This is a titanium break. Um, I spent a little bit of time anodizing it. It didn't turn out all that great. This is before I was doing major anodizing work. This is just kind of the beginning stages. But the cool thing is, is that, you know, I wanted to show you a little piece of what would be my history of kind of where I came from. A lot of the uh, products that you guys don't see are reasons why I got into the machining business for myself. One of those was Form 1 suppressors. So I went ahead and sent in, you know, two dozen Form 1 suppressors. I have several that are open that I've never built yet. Um, they're just, we've got nines, we've got uh, 7.62s, we have uh, just some, some crazy stuff, like some integral stuff and a 50, 50 cal BMG. So we happen to have a lot of open tax stamps. And I think that we're gonna go down the path of building a couple of suppressors. Now we're gonna go down through that stage and build stuff out of, you know, titanium. We might build a stainless one. We'll do some weight comparison. We'll do some actual shooting and some things like that. But, you know, one of the things I just wanted to let you know is that I was really geared more towards this work before I was geared towards slide cutting. 
Slide cutting was really actually my secondary. So uh, like I said, a lot of you guys don't happen to know that. A lot of my close friends know that I was always big into suppressors. I always wanted to make suppressors and you know, you file the paperwork and you do your thing, right? So we've got a lot of tech stamps that are open. So I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to take 2018 and build something. So this is one of the ones that I built a while back. This is a thread over thread design where this actually didn't come out too great um, for this design. So basically this was thread on the outside, this was thread on the inside, and then the cap would all screw in from this way. So basically this was a monocore this would slide on and then your cap would go here and then this would go onto your barrel this way so um, once again we'll explain a lot more of this when we get in depth but this is one of the ones that I built quite a while back so this was a all titanium uh, 22 uh, 22 LR I should say can um, just to kind of give you an idea like I told you guys before I was actually more geared around suppressor building in my own manufacturing in-house than um, than actual slide work so we've done a lot of this was actually all done um, this is a this is one of my earlier designs or uh, what would I what I would consider to be a more rough design you can see some extra tails and stuff on the inside this was cut on a fourth axis this was actually cut on my grizzly so this is quite a while back um, you can see that it's it's a pretty intricate design here is a very effective design. Um, I happen to have a lot of different designs that I've drawn up but never turned out. Stuff that um probably going to be pretty unique to the market. I mean, you guys know how I am. Uh, I happen to be one of those people that just kind of thinks outside of the box and makes things that normally you wouldn't, you maybe wouldn't see. So that's kind of a cool, a little bit of a cool design there overall. Um, very effective design. And uh, at one point in time on my YouTube channel, I did have a couple of different uh, videos of some of the suppressor shoots. And then I, I kind of removed them and, and kind of got that off of my channel um, because at the time I, I was getting a lot of questions about, hey, can you make these for me? Can you do this and you can do that? I just, I, I don't have the license for that and I'm unable to do that. So this would be strictly for educational purposes for you guys to watch the process and, and maybe learn on how I'm doing it. Um, I do not sell it as a service. I cannot sell it as a service. So it's kind of one of those deals, but very cool. I've got some really cool ones that we've done before. This is a really, this is a micro build here. Um, at some point in time, we'll get into some of these other ones that I've done. Um, this is once again, an all titanium build. So like just short of two inches, I think it's like 1.87 and the ounces is like 1.14 uh, I think so it's a little over an ounce uh, it's pretty cool all titanium once again so guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe there's gonna be a lot of cool things coming down the pipe I've told you guys that before feel free to send me an email go to the web page there's a contacts tab fill it out tell me what you want to have done I'm gonna come back and ask you like can you send me some pictures what's your time frame you know that kind of thing and we're gonna just kind of work through those details and we're gonna you know get that project started and get it turned out and um, it's gonna be all good it's gonna be really cool so guys stay tuned we've got a lot of very cool projects coming up and um, have a good one